Anywhere in the state of Arizona, you have the mountains to go to, you, you're six hours from California if you wanted to get to the beach, you're centrally located, and you just have a lot of great activities. Gimback Mountain is a landmark for Phoenix. Uh, when, you, when you fly in, you see Camelback Mountain, and from our place, you can see the entire city, you have views of the city. They've even made a Monopoly game out of it. <laughs> Camelback Mountain is now officially on Monopoly. We're so close to it. It's so powerful um, how close this mountain is to us. And yet at the same time, you turn around and you're right at the right elevation where you can see the city lights. Christy got got all of the views. I mean, she made it a point when she designed this house that everywhere you look, you've got views. The layout of this house is pretty much an L shape. However, the massing of all of the forms that come together really give it a lot of drama. So even though the two-story is really only kind of the east end wing, um, when you look down on the house, there's so many different heights and uh, variations to the roof mass that it's um, pretty interesting. And then it engages the backyard, which is kind of a playpen, if you will, for a party scene. It's got an outdoor kitchen and there's fountains. And you can really see that with the L-shaped layout, there's vistas that you can see of all different kinds of views throughout the whole layout. We've got the green grass, we've got a beautiful barbecue area, we've got two outdoor patios, and a lovely fountain. We are so fortunate to have that much green space in our backyard. When you walk in the backyard in the middle of summer, it doesn't feel like you're in Phoenix. That outside space is amazing for entertaining. There's intimate spaces to gather, um, but at the same time, everybody's connected and having a great time. So you can sit under the covered living room that really looks like a living room. There's just no windows, there's just openings. Or you can be at the high bar around the outdoor kitchen, uh, which is designed to really talk to Jim when he's barbecuing, he loves to barbecue. And that's an outdoor kitchen, which includes his green egg, his gas grill, the sink, the refrigerator drawers, all that area is self-contained. Um, and then we've got the string of lights that hang over the little outdoor barbecue area. It makes it kind of feel like you're in Italy for a moment. What we love is the, the area where the grass and the tile are, are cut checkerboard style. And then we've got a big fire pit. And we love to sit out around the fire pit at night and have a glass of wine and enjoy the views of the mountain. And then when I'm out there barbecuing, that's where I usually like to sit and wait for my barbecue to complete. One of the things that we did was um, the kitchen has travertine in a Versailles old world pattern. And so what we did is we carried that outside by in the actual yard itself that connects the outdoor kitchen with a fountain space and a fire pit that is where you gather. That flooring material is the Versailles pattern exploded out. And then we let the lawn come and seep through all of the seams and the joints. And so for me, it's kind of like taking that inside, outside, and connecting it and kind of seamlessly threading it together. walk through our front door, you have an amazing view through a 30-foot window of Camelback Mountain. As you enter the door, on the right side, you've got stairways that lead up to the second level of the house, the master suite and the office, and then the hallway uh, to the bedrooms and the theater in the back. And then to the left, you enter into the main living area with the bar and where we spend most of our time. When we started building um, the home from the plans up, we knew we wanted a great room living area. We wanted an area where people could feel very comfortable in the kitchen, the dining room, the TV area, as well as our outside patios. 
The big picture window off to your left from the TV is connecting you to the mountain again. The same grand view that you saw when you came in the front door is repeated again where you are all the time. So it's really nice because it's a different space, but yet at the same time, you don't lose that connection to that mountain. We did a lovely um, job with the wood at the bar. It's almost a conversation piece in and of itself. And then Jim and Judy happened to find these geodes on the road one day, and we were able to incorporate the geodes into the wet bar and back with them as though they're placemats when you're sitting at the bar. So there's so many interesting ways where the material becomes connected to the architecture on the inside, and it really flows that outside feel, instant feel of identification of the Spanish colonial and the Mediterranean look, and it brings it inside. Well, you got a giant island in the middle with a sink and refrigerator drawers, et cetera, in there. And that's really the center focus point of the kitchen. And then to the left, as you go in there, you've got a beautiful stove and oven there with Cantera stone carved all around. It's beautiful. And the tile work is spectacular. It's all hand chipped tile and laid tile. It's just fun to work within that kitchen. We wanted our master suite on the second story of our home so that we could enjoy the views from every angle. What I like about our master bedroom, it's the size. It's just perfect. We have a large fireplace, king size bed, fantastic views of the city. So it's a real homey, quiet, um, restful room. The sunset coming through, um is just phenomenal. Not only do you get to watch the sunset from bed, if you go to bed that early, um, but you also get the reflectance of the light on all of the walls. As you come through our master suite, it flows into our breakfast nook that we have there with a refrigerator and a microwave. And then as you go to the right, you're gonna enter into our master bathroom. The light that comes through that bounces off of the Venetian plaster and the crystal chandeliers, amazing. A lot of crystal. Yeah, yeah, well, most of it's crystal. Christy really did this house. I mean, honestly, from the paint color to the walls, when I walk through our home, it feels like we're in a Spanish colonial home. <laughs>